Hi, here is the activity sheet. The first thing you need to do is make sure it's wet. Use a spray bottle. Give it a good spray and then wipe over the whole sheet so the whole thing is guaranteed to be wet. You have a straw and a small container of liquid. Make sure the container is quite shallow so the kids don't spill it. Make sure the kids don't blow into the straw. If they dip the straw into the liquid, you can put the straw over the shape. And make a bubble over the shape. The same with the lady beetle. There's a caterpillar down the bottom. You do exactly the same for the caterpillar, one bubble after another. There's no right and there's no wrong. So the kids can make shapes whichever way they choose. Across the top here are square, pentagon, hexagon, heptagon and octagon. To make those shapes you blow one centre bubble and then outside bubbles. One, two, three, four, five, Six. By applying six bubbles on the outside here, we make ourselves a hexagon shape in the middle. The kids can blow four, five, six, seven or eight bubbles on the outside to make those different shapes. The kids can also blow bubbles inside bubbles. When you do that, you need to make sure the straw is wet. If the straw is dry, the bubble will burst. So make sure the straw is wet. Now you can pl place the straw inside the bubble and blow a bubble inside a bubble. And repeat. Try and blow as many bubbles inside bubbles as you can. Kids can also do free play. make their own creations. There's a similar one creation, just keep blowing more bubbles. and you can make some very interesting shapes. There's lots of time for free play. There's some guides for bubbles that the kids can blow and then free play afterwards. It's not very messy, that's rather dry. Just need to make sure you get yourself a little cup of liquid that can't be spilled over. That liquid can be shared. Just make sure the kids don't blow into the liquid because it's going to bubble over. Um, and I think that's about it. I hope you won't like it. Let me know how it goes. Thank you.